Hello everyone, your girl Tay here and I'm bringing you another Let's Talk Wild podcast episode. Today is June 15th, 2023 and this is episode 33, Animal Transformers, the shape-shifting punk rock frog. (laughs) With the release of the new Transformers Rise of the Beast movie, I wanted to talk about a real life animal that has the ability to transform in multiple ways. For this episode, I'll discuss how a species of rain frog can not only change from an egg to a tadpole living in water to an air-breathing frog, but also have the ability to change the texture of its skin. But before we get into that, make sure you guys follow and subscribe to the podcast on all podcasting and social media platforms. Also, head to YouTube, subscribe to the channel, check out the videos over there once you're done listening over here you guys already know the drill now let's talk wild transformers rise of the beast was just released and the movie has reportedly grossed over 60 million dollars in the first week The Maximals are the name of the Transformers beasts, and they are descendants of the Autobots. Instead of transforming into cars, trucks, motorcycles, jets, and planes, they transform into beasts. Gorillas, rhinos, cheetahs, you name it. The Maximals have a range of animals they can change into. I've enjoyed the Transformer movies through the years, and with the release of the new film, You know, I wanted to spotlight, you know, animals that do just that in real life, transform, you know, metamorphosis. I'll be making this into a series with multiple animals. But first up is the punk rock frog or the punk rocker frog, you know, tomato, tomato, whatever, you know, it's still, you know, punk rocking and frogging it up. But before we get into the skin shape-shifting frog, let's get into the frog's life cycle, which is another form of transformation for the species. Frogs are amphibians, which comes from the Greek word amphibious, which means double life. This is in reference to the frogs being able to live both in water and on land. After mating, the females begin to lay their soft jelly-like eggs. And for most frog species, the males fertilize the eggs, you know, externally. He'll grab the female, get on her back, and fertilize the eggs as she releases them into the water. Now he caressed her. He like, girl, let me... Let me whisper in your ear, tell you some things that you like to hear, you know, just a little whisper, a little spit, a little spit your game, you know, (laughs) not in the frog ears, honey, spitting the game to her, I know that's right. After some time, the eggs finally hatch and the tadpoles emerge. In this stage, they'll have gills to help them breathe underwater, they'll eat vegetation in the water until they reach the next stage of their metamorphosis, growing legs and hunting for insects, okay? Now, the transformation continues until the frogs lose their tails and gills and the lungs develop, making them ready for land living. And the cycle continues. Now we can get into the mutable rain frog, which has been dubbed the punk rock or punk rocker frog because of its shape-shifting, spiky skin transformation ability. This species is from the Andes of Ecuador, and researchers believe that it is the first vertebrate to have the ability to morph its skin. The punk rock frog can change the texture of its skin from smooth to spiky to smooth again within a few minutes. The species was found in July 2009, sitting on a leaf in the Santa Rosa River Trail and the r- 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 ooh, I don't know how to pronounce it, honey, but it's a, a nature reserve in Ecuador. It's Reserva Las Grasleras Nature Reserve. Um, yeah, I'll link it just in case you guys want to um, check out resources resources from them and stuff like that. But yeah, but it was found by researchers in Ecuador. Uh, and the researchers were Catherine and Tim Cronack. And when it was initially found and captured, it had, you know, spiky skin. The next morning, it was removed from the container it was in and pictures were taken showing the skin was no longer sp- spiky. It was smooth. And at that point, 
the Crynax thought they, you know, had picked up the wrong frog. But when they put the frog back into the cup container uh, with some moss, the spikes came back. And, you know, they were in shock and they put the frog back on a smooth white background and the skin changed back to smooth. So, you know, in a couple of minutes, it just was transformation. Skin up, skin down. Skin up, spiky, no, smooth. Spiky, smooth. Up, down. <laughs> what, do you, what, what do you want here? What do you want me to do here? Transformers, more than meets the eye. <laughs> I play too much. I'm like, <laughs> that was so random. <laughs> Now, Catherine Krynak said in a press release, the spines and coloration help them blend into mossy habitats, making it hard for us to see them. But whether the texture really helps them elude predators still needs to be tested, end quote. Okay, we're done with all of that. Now it's time to get into Taze Wild Thoughts. I'm also doing um a Taze, you know, Taze you know, wild story moment after this. So if you're still listening, thank you. Sticking around, you know. <laughs> but far as the wild thoughts, taste wild thoughts. This species of frog is giving me uh, tr toxicity, Pokemon vibes. Now, toxicity is an electric and a poison type that made its um, Pokemon debut in Generation 8. And some people say it's a lizard and others say, you know, it's some type of frog or amphibian, you know, whatever you think it is. One thing is for sure. It's called the punk Pokemon. And that's legit. That's from its Pokedex entry. Shout out to all the Pokemon trainers out there that's listening. Y'all know I love my Pokemon. I want to be the very best. Like no one ever was. Do, do, do. To catch them is my real test. To train y'all know what's up. Y'all know what's up. And I know y'all better be singing the tune right now. Okay. Finish it up. Uh-huh. Finish your note. Finish that line. Okay. We're back on to Taze Wild Dance. Mm -hmm. But you know, this Pokemon has uh uh two forms. It has the amped form and the low key form. So let's read their official Pokedex entries for Amped and Low Key. So first up is Amped. The jolts of electricity it launches by violently strumming the protrusions on its chest easily exceed 15,000 volts. Now the Low Key form, as it gulps down stagnant water and generates electricity in its body, a sound like a rhythm played by a bass guitar are uh, reverberates all around so yeah so this is a punk rock po pokemon if you're watching on youtube y'all can see uh the picture what do y'all think does it look like a lizard does it look like a frog to me it's giving very much frog but you know you know how pokemon they take um inspiration for from real live animals maybe they took inspiration from this species of frog you know, so it's cool. It's a cool Pokemon. My favorite from generation uh, uh, eight, actually. I want to take, take two of it. You know, maybe I'll get a tattoo of the shiny, but I love uh, this Pokemon. It's really cool. And I think the real life punk rock frog is cool too. I know the researchers, you know, wanted to do more studies to see if the shape shifting skin helps them hide from predators. But I think we all can say that it's highly, you know, possible, like 99% it does. I get it. I get it. They want the paperwork, you know, so we can read it and all that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> It goes through all these different transformations in its lifetime and its life cycle. Like the creator said, you know, well, let me throw in another way for you to transform while I'm at it. Let me go in, go in. Yeah, yeah, a little, little skin texture. It was given a little, you know, a little bit of uh, X-Men uh, mystique as far as like the, the texture. You know, when she changed her skin in, in the movie, oof. It creeps me out. It creeps me out. It creeps me out. But let's get into uh, Tay's wild stories. Um, So this is like a personal segment. And, I, you know, I always throw in my stories about my life and stuff and, you know, certain podcast episodes. But, you know, I'll do it more now. Because at the end of the day, like, 
this is like all, all everything is like full circle for me as far as like podcasting and then talking about the animals and what you know the animals are doing and going through and like and in pop culture and but I'm still like relatable in all of this, you know, my life and stuff, my, my current metamorphosis in life. That's what I'm going through. Like I, like for the last couple of months, I've been just like in a space where I'm just like the old things that I used to be satisfied with all these years, years, I'm not anymore. I'm changing, you know, I, I feel it. And um, you know, it was scary in the beginning, having all these emotions, like, am I happy? Am I, am I not happy? I'm sad. I'm mad. I'm depressed. I'm happy. You know, am I getting lost in, you know, this big world, you know, this world full of people and am, am I making the most of my time being here and being seen, you know, being a content creator, it can be stressful um, when you're viewing numbers and stuff like that. And when it comes to the podcast, I really don't dwell on that. You know, I thank you guys for listening and for the support and stuff like that. I just really love doing this. Like I really love, you know, animal research, just talking about animals and just, you know, learning as I go, but it's just, I've been just stuck in this cycle. Recently, I've been cool, you know, and stuff like that. And and I know I'm going through a change, honey, because my insomnia, I've been going to sleep. Y'all, I've been going to sleep, honey. I've been going to sleep early. So I'm like, I'm definitely going through a change. Like my insomnia hasn't even been like, bad like I've been going to sleep getting up early you know getting your girl's been getting harassed so that's good I'm happy about that because I've been an insomniac since a child like some people know the reason why I'm an insomniac I'm not gonna get into that with y'all today that's a little bit too too personal honey we'll get into it maybe in a, another late another time later on down the line but um yeah, I'm happy to be getting some rest. Uh, but yeah, that, like I just feel like I'm changing. Things are changing. And, you know, it's scary. It can be very scary like for change and stuff like that. But I know this is all for the betterment for me. I'm a Scorpio ruler, ruler of transformation, you know. So I'm just like trying to embrace it, you know, and just go along with it and just go on along for the ride, honey, because that's what it is. Life is a roller coaster. It's a ride. Um, and just do as much as you can while you have the time here, you know, just facing, um, losing people in your life. It just, it can take a toll on you. So just live your life, accept change, transformation, metamorphosis, whatever you want to call it, accept it. You know, it's for the betterment for you. You got to transform. I'm like a snake. I'm no a scorpion. I'm, I'm molting right now. I'm molting. And when I come out of that old skin, everything, the new will break through. Okay. I had to say I'm a uh scorpion because i'm a scorpio but for everybody else y'all know y'all y'all love to say snakes mean you being sneaky no it no it does not <laughs> no it does not like calm down so y'all gotta put some respect on snake's name we gotta do an episode on snakes now because y'all be doing all this hey, snakes mean that you're sneaky no snakes is transformation i'll never call somebody oh you a snake or whatever i don't i don't do that I, 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 snakes represent transformation they shed their skin you know so just break out of that accept and you know love love the change love the transformation love the metamorphosis but that's all I had to say guys I hope you guys enjoyed the episode thank you for listening you guys let me know how you feel about today's topic animal transformers the shape-shifting punk rock frog. 
leave a comment on the Let's Talk About Instagram page and YouTube channel. Make sure you guys follow and subscribe to the podcast on all podcasting and social media platforms. Love yourself, one another, your pets, and the animals. I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.